Tinker. <laughs> so that's just to introduce you to if you hear some of these tunes and you're a little confused by the chord arrangement and you have a lot of these in, in Irish tunes think about the different modes that you find in, in other kinds of music as as well but it's frequently found in Irish music and that's a real common uh, real. so here, this is a great thing you can do you can play the seventh chord you can just take this complete form and move it over to a minor position, a minor seventh. Okay. So if you're playing like a, a D minor G, stand around it. See, so this form is easy to move. Okay. It's a minor. It's, it's the same as that seventh chord that you're playing. Yeah. 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 So if this is a G, that's a C minor. Sounds a little different than this one. I think a little more drama. <laughs> but it's when you're when you're swinging along, you know, you can do this. How are you doing? Congratulations on becoming a national treasure. Yeah. I'm making a little video at the convention this year. Oh, and that's still was pending. Wondering, wondering if you're having a... Oh, really? When is your birthday? Uh, 6th of June. Oh, 6th of June. Okay, everybody re will remember that. Yeah. Out there in video land that Ken Luce is having his 80th birthday. That's 6th it. of June. And I don't look a day over 79. <laughs> no, you don't, do you? Are you having fun at the convention this year? So far, having fun. You've been doing a lot of bass playing. Well, there, yeah, there's a shortage. Uh, there wasn't yesterday, but there has been today a shortage. Oh, there has. Oh, okay. Any advice or uh, rumors or gossip, to sh jokes to share with people out there in uh, video land? Well, let's see. My roommate always said, uh, if a centipede a pint and a velocipede a quart, how much can a precipice? And the answer is, as much as a tomato can. <laughs> Okay, thank you for that uh, great, uh, yeah. I guess you would call it some wisdom from an old time fiddler. Yeah. Okay. So how do you... What, 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 There's how Allison, do you you've been having fun at the convention? Yes, I've just been playing with a third grader and a couple of first graders and you've now... You've been working with go. a lot of kids. It's been fun. The mandolin workshop's still going on too. Patty Luce is the UTFA State Secretary and Membership Coordinator. She's currently snacking a little bit on something. Oh, on veggies. And swallow Broccoli. fast. And do you have anything you'd like to say out to everybody in video land? Well, thank you so much to the city of uh, Roseburg and uh, District 10. This has been wonderful, and hopefully we can come back next year. And that's been a very fun and uh, exciting convention. I've enjoyed it, all the workshops and the membership is strong and uh, things are going well for the Oregon Old Time Fiddlers. They've been around yes. since about 1964 or so, right? Right, right. So in uh, two years we'll be celebrating That's right. again. For the, uh, what, 60th? I would say so, yes. We 60th. celebrate every year. We do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we got going here? A little kid jam. Got a first grader and a third grader. Yeah, that's uh, Kelly's grandchild, Cora, right over there.
very good. I forgot that we did that. That was a hard one for me. That was hard. It changes really fast. I hit it maybe once or twice. I hit the are all you kids having fun at the convention this year? Yeah. You want to be on a video? Smile. Everybody smile and say you're having fun or something? Okay. Talk to him, Annabelle. Did you learn much from some of these workshops and classes? Yes, I learned lots. You learned a lot? Oh, What's that's the Like, Tell them the name of the tune you learned. Uh, the one that I did for this concert was Purple Lilies, Polka, and that's my favorite one. Purple Lily? Yeah. Okay. Did you learn something new here at the, work, at the convention? Um, not really. Your name's Cora? Yes. Because you already have your grandmother to teach you a lot of stuff. And who, what's your name? Um, Ann Beth. And uh, did you learn anything? Yes. She learned that it's fun to play with other people. Oh, so you're kind of jamming this yeah. a lot at the convention. Very good. I learned that, uh, that if you, the key is if you really listen a lot, then you can really get to learn to know the song. That's true. And I saw you just playing some backup, too. You were listening and letting somebody else play the melody, so that's very good technique. You, you taught her. And then you got some very good backup over here. Larry Gallagher and uh, Shelly and Sharon. She's quite the singer. That's, that's I'm not quite meaning a singer yet. <laughs> well, do you all have a tune that you learned and all know something together you can put on the video? Perfect. Let's do Angelina Baker one more time. All right. This is going to be fun. I'm going to play. You guys can play it. I'll just help you out if you need Oh, it. fantastic. Well, let's see. Just a minute. Here. Yeah, there. there we go. Oh, this will be like a little show, won't it? Okay. Somebody start it off. Go ahead. With potatoes? No, nah, we're not quite there yet. Well, actually, you know some potatoes, Cora. Go ahead. Chops or something. Somebody else is playing a B part, it all seems to work, doesn't it? All right, cool. Thank you very much.
I loved his kisser. As we sat in his little red coop, he said, tell me confidentially, songs and fiddle tunes and uh, fit into all the jams so you right. must have a lot of different harmonicas for I, different keys different and harmonica, things. Different different keys and uh, I've tried to play with every different kind of a, a genre that comes out you know sort of thing and right. I can play with all right. I give it a try and I'm always in that mood to learn. Okay.
hard act. today, seeing how everybody's doing and having fun at the convention. Having a good time. You guys have been doing a lot of jamming, haven't you? Well, that's what we come for. We come over from, uh, over in Eastern Oregon. Yeah. What, what part of Eastern Oregon? Good old Lakeview. Lakeview. How long you guys live there? Yeah, we were born there and we're still there. Oh, yeah, you're still there, right? <laughs> yeah, and so you've kind of raised your whole families back there and uh, you guys do ranching or that kind of business you're in? or. I work in the sawmill in the log yard, Terry, he built squeeze shoots for cows. Oh, is that right? Yeah. And your whole family is, was a musical family, right? You kind of yeah. got into music from your yeah. your mom and dad? Yeah, you played music, you had to read a book, and I didn't like to read. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, why don't you guys play a tune for us today uh, here in the jam, and we'll put you out on the video. tune called walking my baby back home walking my baby back home that's right i think <laughs> i think so yeah. kind of learned it off uh, just by ear from the radio or from well, your somebody mom and dad. played it somebody played it and then you played it so, down. what's the story on that fiddle there is that an old fiddle uh, yeah come for remember shorty dow shorty dow yeah i do dad, dad bought it from shorty dow and when dad played he played left-handed with that finger behind the foot. Peg. Oh yeah, Homer, your dad Homer yeah. played it left-handed. The roots on this is a little bit farther than what normal uh, it's a little bit longer. Oh. He's he having a hard time with that crutch there with that finger back there reaching it. So uh -huh. he finally, finally let me take it home with me. Yeah. So 
I don't know how old it is. Old man. As you know, these tags lie to you, but that's that's 1716. Oh, it's, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. But <laughs> that was the make of the original fiddle. Exactly. A copy of it. Exactly. But you got a, probably a few other fiddles too. Yeah, I got one or two. You play other instruments? I play a little bit of bass and a little bit on the guitar. Yeah, and your brother mainly plays guitar. Mainly, he played a little bit on the fiddle. He can play a little fiddle too. <laughs> a little bit rough on it. Either you guys play any mandolin or banjo? Oh, or? I play with the mandolin a little bit. Sure. Larry plays six string banjo. Oh, okay. So, yeah, guitar banjo. Okay, sounded good, man. Good seeing you, Terry. I'm going to keep on wandering around and talk to a few other people. All right, see ya.